Hey everyone, it's me, Canadensis, and today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Shadow High Fashion Jewelry Studio. This is being stocked at Walmart in, like, the Christmas overflow section generally. Sometimes it's on an end cap. Last year they did one of these for Rainbow High and it was like an art set. This year it's this elaborate jewelry making set, which I'm so, so excited about, and it's Shadow High themed, which is even better. I hope they continue to do to do these every year because it's so cool and then if we look at the back of the box we can see that it comes with a lot of stuff so let's get started it says it comes with one shadow high locker 104 alphabet slider charms 20 jump rings six metal shadow high charms three metal slider charms three metal chain bracelets 150 round fastened beads 100 round metallic beads four faux leather bracelets one black velvet cording at one yard one metallic tattoo transfer sheet and there's 13 tattoos on it i assume two sticker sheets, 10 plastic safety pins, one white velvet band, two metallic elastic cordings at one yard each, one teardrop pendant, one metallic stripe bead, one plastic bracelet, and of course it comes with easy to follow instructions. I don't see why that needs to be on there. I guess it, they needed to like round this out. Anyway, um, and then we have a picture of series one of Shadow High. It says it comes with charms, chains, tattoos, and more, and there's a jewelry locker thing to put it all in, or you can use it for the dolls. And then um, there's some ingredients for the tattoo sheet. Because I guess that counts as a cosmetic product. I don't know. Um, and then I will show you the barcode in case you need help finding it. There it is. All right, let's get it out of the box. I've got the kit opened up and everything's ready to go. And I wanted to show you a couple of things. First of all, this set is made by Horizon Group USA, who also makes basically any of the Rainbow High merch that you see around. Which is exciting because that means all of the Shadow High images we're seeing here are in the asset kit that they have access to and can make merch of so hopefully they start making merch of shadow high i will be really excited i love the little buckles and we see all the different symbols that we've been seeing on the shadow high girls clothing i love seeing the twins there too and like all the cute little jewels and stuff this is so cool and then there's another one which is mainly just letters but you can see this cool like chain one it's just super long love it and then I assume these ones in particular are meant to decorate the locker, but like, love them. And then these are the temporary tattoos. Now these are really impressive to me. Um, I won't be using them because, you know, I can only use them once, but like how nice are these? I love this one. I want this as washi tape. Can you imagine? So, so cute. Like the bones one for Heather. This one, the belt with all their little heads on it so cute and then it tells you how to use it yeah it, it's just this one in particular i love it so much and then we have the locker which is one of the main things i think people want this set for um it is purple i guess for some reason um i would think it would be some form of grayscale but i guess i mean this would be a good color to be veronica and naomi's or ainsley um but here it is next to the doll so it is I mean, depending on what sort of locker you're thinking of, it's either too tall or not tall enough. So, depends. So, some lockers are, like, half height for, like, a typical human being in middle school, and then some of them are, like, long and skinny. Um, but I feel like this works. It's cute. This just isn't the type of locker I'd expect to see at a school. It's the type of locker I'd expect to see as, like, bedroom decor, I guess. Um, but it's really nice. So, it has Shadow High right here. It's not a sticker. It's actually printed on there. It's cast in this, like, sparkly plastic. It is quite, um and it's not the oh look we've got like this cool mga entertainment thing it says shadowhigh.com mgae horizon group pretty cool and it's made out of a plastic that's kind of like i don't know how to describe it just listen anyway um it has a black handle you can open it up and then it actually has these little hangers inside which is pretty cool i assume those are well they're definitely for hanging the jewelry off of but you could hang the clothing there's three of them and I wish there was a shelf in there or something because you can only hang a couple of your jewelry things in there and then that's it. But it would be nice if this had like little slots so you could store all the extra stuff because you kind of have to mangle the tray to get it separated. So all this stuff needs a home now. But anyway, let's get started looking at the stuff and I'm going to try to craft some jewelry. All right, I wanted to show these in great detail because these are kind of like the main draw of the set. Everything else is pretty generic, but these are super super cool so these i feel are kind of generic it's just a heart of star and an ampersand but um these are the ones that you slide onto the um i'll show you later the like leather bracelet things and then over here are the shadow high charms so i love that there's certain ones for like certain characters you can see 
And then I love this SH. For some reason, there's just an H here. Um, like, where's the S for that H? Or maybe that's just an H for Heather because it has the snake through it. I don't know. Um, and then an SH little hanging tag there. This big spike. This bow, which is on Chanel's dress. I really like this one. Super cute. It's not on her dress. I'm sorry. It's like, was it a belt? I use it as a hairpiece. I don't know. Um, anyway, and then this little faceted gem, which is really nice. I wish it didn't have a gold facet, though. It's really nice. But gold kind of doesn't match the vibe of Shadow High generally. And then this is a little tag that says Shadow on it. This would make like a good zipper pull. Pretty cool. I wasn't going to do the amount of each letter because I just thought it would be redundant. But I'm glad that I did because I'm confused by it. So, for example, over here, why are there six W's? And yes, those are W's. M looks like this. W looks like this. They're different. Um, why are there six W's and only one I and up here like <laughs> again only one I why it's just strange strange distribution you see how many there are in the VWXYZ category and Q's there's a lot of there's four Q's here and three Q's here I don't know I'm frankly confused by the distribution of letters um but I am excited to figure this out. So I am going to first be making my beautiful daughter Lego, a pink bracelet. Now she is a cat and this isn't big enough to be a collar. So obviously I'm not gonna force it onto her, but I want to make a Lego one. That's my prerogative. So we're gonna do it. Anyway, obviously she gets the heart. Little baby girl, she gets a heart. Okay. Um, and all of these have a little slide on. So you just kind of, well, I'll show you. Okay, so first we're gonna start with Y and we are doing silver, obviously. There's no gold charms other than this one. Uh, so the gold ones, I don't know. I'll use them though, just to... So we're trying to use everything in the kit. So we're doing Leggy, by the way, if that's not clear. Her name is Lego Star Wars 2, but I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough because there's only one eye, um, which is weird. Anyway, Leggy. I think it's random. Like, usually there's a pretty standard amount. Like, they'll give you, like, four of each vowel, except Y. Um, and then stuff like that. Um, definitely letters like L, they'll usually have multiple, because that's a pretty common letter. Um, but for some reason, in this case, they just didn't. All right, so this is going to be Leggy's little bracelet. Super cute. And don't worry, I will be trying these on. Leggy. Oh, I actually really like the the font is super cute with the letters. I really like it. Aww. Okay, so that's our leggy bracelet. And then the gold bracelet, we will use the gold charms. And hmm, I don't know <laughs> what to do. I'm gonna write cool dad. That is an inside joke. Um, so I guess gold on gold isn't the best, but anyway, uh, we're gonna do dad. And then the star, I guess, but it, it's silver. So I don't know. It'll look fine. Okay. And then we're going to do L. Always, anytime I have an opportunity to personalize something, I will inevitably put cool dad on it. And I think that is important to consider. Um, thank goodness there's enough letters to do so. Okay. We've got cool dad. And it's got like a star in honor of my Texan heritage. So that's cool dad. Um, if I had more space, it would be cool dad fight champ. And then this year but there's no numbers. Okay. So that's cool dad. And then this, the holographic one. Okay. So this is the best one, obviously. Um, gotta go with my name. So, um, I don't, <laughs> don't want to use the ampersand, but that's the last one. Yeah. It's weird. There's only three of these little slidey charms, but anyway. All right. So K. See, I can't take anything seriously, so I'm not going to use my actual name. Um, I'm going to use my other name. Hopefully I have enough letters. I didn't even stop to think about it. Um, but you shouldn't have to stop and think about it, you know? Um, but, uh, oh, there's only one R in the silver category. Weird. Um, but I guess, like, if you ran out of letters, you could use some of the other ones. Like, it's not that big of a deal. You could use some of the gold ones. All right, brick. And what? I don't know. All right. There's brick. And I really like these charms, actually. These, like, rhinestone ones. I wish there were more. And then, 
Um, there are jump rings that are being shown in this category, so I guess in theory you could hang these off of this bracelet, but I don't know if I want to do that. All right, now our last one. What should we do? Could do my username because we got a weird amount of letters, so it would actually probably work. So we need two S's. Oh, <gasps> there's not enough S's. All right, we're going to alternate colors. This is going to be dangerous. It might not work. Okay, so S... Then we need a silver eye. Okay, we don't have a silver eye. We already messed this up. <laughs> it wouldn't have worked anyway. You know what? It's just gonna it's just gonna be a disaster. It's not a big deal. Everything's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for fun. Okay. S I S. Um N. Right, Canadensis. Yeah. Um, so if you didn't know, guys, this is our fun fact of the day. Yes, my username means from Canada, but I've never been to Canada. I'm not from Canada. I don't even think any of my family lives in Canada. Um, the reason my username is that is because when I was like nine years old and I made my Minecraft account, the name Anomalocaris was taken and that's the name that I wanted. Um, it's a, an extinct animal that was in a documentary that I loved and I'm a paleontologist now because of that. So, um, so your trivia for the day. Um, but anyway, Anomalocaris was taken and this was on Minecraft because that's where I wanted the username. Um, so I used the next best thing. The animal that I was specifically obsessed with was Anomalocaris canadensis, um, because it is an animal from Canada. The dead animal, very dead animal from the Cambrian 500 million years ago. So, oh, do we know how many C's? Did, were there only two C's in the entire kit? Ooh, that's not gonna work. Dang it. Okay. We gotta do some adjusting. We're gonna make this say rad dad. No, there's not enough D's. <gasps> Ooh, dad. Obviously, my username is more important. Um, anyway, so then, um, because at the time when I made my username in, like, what, 2010? Um, like, it was scene era, you know? And putting X's in your username was, like, a scene thing. Anyway, so that's why my username is X Canadensis. No, I'm not from Canada. I've never been to Canada. I don't have any relation to Canada. It's just an unfortunate username, but I really liked how it sounded. So when I made my new YouTube channel, I just kind of stuck with it. All right. Um, I was just going to say Ooh, dad until I figure something else out. Okay. So now we have made these, these actually 10 out of 10. I had a lot of fun with these. I was not excited about these, but now that I've made them, I, I really like it. It's super fun. Hopefully you guys' kits come with different distributions of letters because, you know, like I could have used more C's instead of um, six total Q's. Like that would have been nice. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. For our next craft, we will be making the charm bracelet. Um, it wants me to have pliers in order to do so. And that is actually, fun fact, the exact opposite of something that I want to do. So I'm going to use my hands. They're just jump rings, so you can pry them apart with your hands. Trust me. Um, anyway, let's do it. So first, the S. Man, I really want to get some, like, jewelry wire in, like, Shadow High doll size. And some of these could make, like, necklace charms for your dolls. And it would be cute. Did I, I just put that on backward, huh? Well, it's like, okay, never mind, it's right. Okay, there's our S. And then I'm going to do the H right next to it. Anyway, look how strong I am. I can bend jump rings. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so this is the next intended craft. It is the charm bracelet and this is a really exciting one except that it doesn't come with enough charms for you to be able to like fully personalize it but this is a really affordable kit and it's kind of meant for just one person seemingly so it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't make like a bunch of different options and because the more options it comes with the more extras there's going to be you know because once you're done making okay i'm putting those really close together because i want like sh together you know like it's the name of the school um Anyway, the more stuff it comes with, the more extras you're going to have, you know? Which is why it shouldn't have come with, like, actually eight total cues. But I think that's random. I think they truly randomize the amount they come with. So they're like, as long as you get one of each letter, it's fine. Um, so I'm proud to report that you don't need pliers. Because I do own pliers, obviously. I use them all the time. But I always put them back somewhere where they don't go. So I never can find them. So that would have been a disaster. I would have... Had to really go looking for those. Um, but thankfully, these are not super strong j jump rings. But that is unfortunate because if you 
like snag your bracelet on something or even if you're just walking around your charm could fall off and that is why i never wear charm bracelets in public or like well i also just don't like how they feel on my arm it makes me uncomfortable but like um i'm always terrified of like if i wear pins or charm bracelets or whatever else i will lose all the charms and it will ruin my life so <laughs> But I wonder why they didn't just put lobster clasps on the charms. Like, that's how most charms are sold. Because then you can move them around and stuff, too. But this is supposed to feel like you are the jewelry designer. So they want to have it be, like, pretty crafty. Pretty cool. Okay. And then I'm not going to use the, the Heather H, although I like it. Um, I want to save it for Heather, first of all. I'm going to try to make her a thing in this video. And second of all, it... I mean, removed from any context, it's just like an H, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And it will just look like I'm missing an S. But that's just my opinion on my bracelet. Okay, so this is my Shadow High Charm Bracelet. Pretty cool. And I really love, like, in terms of this kit's marketing, it's really cute that it, it says it comes with the locker because, like, you, you're going to want to keep your creative ideas safe. They're for your eyes only. Hide them in the locker. Isn't that cute? Like, that's just fun. Just fun, fun, fun. And how do you, I mean, do you just kind of drape them here? Yeah, I guess if you like balance it, yeah. So, that works. And these, you can just kind of, yeah, I like it. Okay, um, there's also, <gasps> oh my god, hold on. Oh, I got excited that it's a choker, but I think it's just a bracelet. Um, I'm going to put this on it because I don't want the gold with any of the, like, other stuff. But I like this charm. It's probably the best charm that it comes with. Other than those slider charms with the rhinestones, like, I genuinely really like those. Okay, so I actually liked this style of bracelet when I was younger. Cool. There it is. Because they're so lightweight, like, you can't really feel them. This is the stuff that they make chokers out of. Okay. I'm going to put it in the locker. Look at it in there. Perfect. Okay. Now, um, we have some more things. So, I'm going to have to read over the instructions really fast, but let me show you everything. So, this is just a velvet th Is it for making a choker? Is that the purpose? Like, I don't... And then, this is going to be a yard, I guess, of black velvet it's not actually velvet i don't think but this black velvety cord um so there's that and then there's these two like bracelet cord things there is a gold chain which is long enough to be a necklace so i guess that's probably what the teardrop pendant is kind of intended for because it's gold um and then there's also um another one but with bigger rings this time why not in silver guys it's shadow high um, and then there's all these little safety pins. Um, they're not actually safety pins, obviously. They're plastic safety pins. But, like, what are these for? That's why I'm going to have to look over the instructions. Because I, I don't have a clue. I assume they go to these somehow. Um, and then we get two bead options for your beading needs. Um, you get these metal-y ones. They're not metal, but they look, they, they're, like, metal colored. And then... You get these, like, duochrome ones. I actually really like these. And they're a good size to be, like, doll jewelry. And you could totally use this if you had actual jewelry pliers. This, like, cord that you get. It's a pretty good size where you could probably use it to make little um, bracelets and stuff for the dolls. I don't have wire cutters handy right now. Otherwise, I would. All right. So this cord is intended for the bracelet. And um, you're kind of... So the, the charms are meant to kind of be for multiple projects so in theory you can use them on any of these i just personally like the idea of the charm bracelet the best i feel like it'll display the best also um so i'm just gonna kind of do a little design i'm probably not going to show you this whole process because i'm just beating things onto a little string and um so the way this string is is quite interesting and you're gonna have to trim it a lot so cut it way bigger than you think it needs to be um so it's like a white elastic cord with this metallic material it's not actually metallic at all but like it looks metallic um like coiled over it so it just kind of like comes off as you go um so it makes this a really difficult process but it looks nice so that's something also when you remove the tape that holds it in place it um will lose parts so that's fun too anyway like it um it lost a bunch of the the metal stuff but see i, I keep accidentally pulling on the metal stuff when i'm not in intending to 
Um, but anyway, you could just use any cording for this. The beads are nice, though. I actually really, really like the beads. Um, I mean, look, I could, especially those smaller beads, you could make little bracelets for the dolls with those. I feel like that would be very cute. Anyway, I'm going to finish stringing this on time lapse. I'll be right back. In lieu of a voiceover, here's Ronaldo purring really loud. Thank you. All right, y'all. Here's my bracelet. Pretty good. It was just kind of difficult because of this thing unraveling constantly, but, and I got a bead stuck in my knot. But other than that, pretty cool. And it's nice and stretchy, too. Like, it works for what it needs to. Anyway, um, now we're going to be making our velvet choker. So I've already cut this to size. And it says in the instructions that the next thing is a shadow high. Wait. Okay, wait. No. I'm not doing this because I basically just did it. Anyway, um, velvet choker. It says, would you rather create a velvet choker? Pick a cording, then wrap it around your neck and find a comfortable size. I already did that. Plan your design. Select slider charm. Oh, you use the slider charms on this? Oh. Wait, so what is this one for? Okay. Um. Well, I just put away all my slider charms, so that's fun for me. We're going to get them out and figure out something wacky we can spell out. I will be right back. Okay, so lots of things I wanted to spell, such as evil, villain, can't, don't have enough letters. Um, usually the only limit is my imagination, but today the limit is that I do not have enough letters to pursue any of the things that I want to spell, but that's okay. Um, it's You got to like be creative and solve problems. So we're gonna be spelling Zorb with multiple Z's because, listen, there's a lot of Z's that I need to use. So we're gonna use them because, I don't know, if I ever wanna use this set again, I'm certainly not gonna have a use for any Z's. So we're just gonna use quite a few of these Z's and I think it's gonna be a beautiful thing because who's ever spelled Zorb on their necklace before? I don't know. Maybe somebody else with this set. Because they might have to. Um, anyway. Beautiful. In one of my Pokemon games, I named all of my Pokemon something to the effect of orb and stuff. So this is in their honor, I guess. Okay. So now this is our choker. Um, I think that it is a beautiful thing. So now I'm going to put this on. And yeah. It's gonna be beautiful um our next craft i mean it says removable knots like what does that mean oh did we actually do them all hold on a second all right i'm not like super in the mood to be on camera but i wanted to show you all my jewelry so first of all i'm loud anyway um this is zorb beautiful um and then i put on the chains even though they don't really have anything on them because i mean they still work um and i put on the it comes with a lot of these safety pins but I understand why they made them plastic, but they're just a bit too chunky. Um, they look kind of silly. Um, and then I didn't use this because there's no silver chain for this. I guess except the charm bracelet, but I don't know. Um, and then we have the charm bracelet. It's really... I guess you can put the... Like, it's a bit big for a child's wrist, but, like, you can put the lobster clasp further in if you want to. But then you have, like, an awkward hanging bit, right? Because... I mean, how far in would you have to put it before it actually fits on a child's arm? I don't know. But you could also just cut it down if you wanted to. Um, I really, really like this one. I feel like this one is the entire purpose of the kit, honestly. This one's awesome. Um, and then we have Brick, Help. I, I I don't know if I showed you. Um, I put Help on this one because I couldn't figure out anything else. Um, and this is too... This is, like, slightly too short to go around my neck. And I am an adult, so maybe it would fit on a child's neck. I don't know. Um, but also these are too small for this, but this is what this is intended for. Um, this is Leggy with a little heart, my daughter. Um, there's that. Leggy's my cat, by the way. Her name's Lego Star Wars too. And then, um, x right there. And then this is our little beaded bracelet. And then this now says Great Dad, because I would normally do Rad Dad or Cool Dad, but I was out of D's and I, I don't remember what the other letter I needed was. But anyway, this is all of my jewelry. 
I approve of this set. I think it's really, really fun. I think my favorite thing is definitely these. These are super cool. Um, and they're, like, really user-friendly. They're, like, easy to use. They're fun. And I've never had a kit with these in them before. So, like, I really approve of these. This, I mean, it's fun, but, you know, it's everywhere. So, if it was just this stuff, it wouldn't have been my favorite. But, like, these, all four of these, actually, all, well, I guess this is three different ones. These are super unique and fun. I wish that it had come with more sliders, though, because it comes with four slider bracelets. Oh, one of them fell off. It comes with four slider bracelets. Um or like bracelets intended for the sliders. So I wish that it had come with more charms. And then also these are supposed to have the sliders, the velvet things, I don't know. And then um, the distribution of lettering in the slider kits is off. So I had to go with Zorb. I mean, I could have figured something else out, I'm sure. Um, I love the locker, this is a super fun accessory. People were really excited about this in particular with this set because um, it's pretty good size for the dolls. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible by any means. So for $25, I think that this is more than enough fun. I mean, I was trying to kind of get a review going, you know, so I kind of tried to build all this stuff pretty fast and I, I still spent like an hour doing this. It was pretty fun. Um, and all of this stuff is reusable. So if you don't like the charm bracelet anymore and you want to switch, you can put the charms on the charm necklace or put them on the choker or on this thing. This would be really fun, but um, I don't know. I feel like jump rings wouldn't be super secure on this, but I did do it with this, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, $25. I think it's $25 worth of fun. And especially like as a Christmas present, this is, this is really cool. And I feel like also like you could gift stuff to your friends because you know you get four of these things. If you don't want all four you could like make special ones for your friends and stuff and I think that's super super fun and cute. And um, going off of the it's all reusable thing, when I was a kid I didn't really get craft kits. My mom just didn't really buy those for me. But when I had stuff like that, like when I would get them for Christmas sometimes from like random people or like um, we would do them in class or something, I would never be able to commit because I would be really scared to, like, waste the parts because, like, what if I decide later down the line that I wanted to make something else and now all those parts are used? So I really like that all of these are kind of, you know, they're reusable. You can continue to find new uses for them, and I think that's super nifty. Um, so I approve of this. I think myself as a kid would have had fun with this, and I think, I mean, as an adult, I also had fun with it. And I will definitely be enjoying my Exhanadensis bracelet and my Brick bracelet. I'm just not super... And my Lego bracelet is so cute. I'm just not super, much, like, a jewelry person. For some reason, like, if it's on my body, I can't stop messing with it and it bothers me. Um, but this is all going to look super cool on my display. And sometimes I wear it. Sometimes, when the occasion calls for it. It's fun to have. Uh, but anyway... That's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think if you have this one. I definitely think that this is a marked improvement from the set from last year. The set from last year was like cute enough, but I don't know. It didn't feel super worth it. I got tangled in my hair. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.